Come on, man. I know you watch Man of Steel. Where's the review at? Okay, I'll just go to wingtube.com. Oh, um, where is Stuckman's Man of Steel review? Refresh, refresh, refresh. Come on, Stuckman, where's your Man of Steel review? For those who are watching this video who are not subscribed to me, you should know that this will be a spoiler-free review. I do not do spoilers in my reviews. You're safe with me, don't worry. I will, however, do a spoiler-filled review this weekend, so look forward to that. Man of Steel is directed by Zack Snyder. It stars Henry Cavill, Michael Shannon, Amy Adams, Lawrence Fishburne, Kevin Costner, Russell Crowe. Amazing cast in this movie. And if you don't know, this is a reboot and a retelling of the origin story of Kal-El or Superman. Produced by Christopher Nolan, the man behind the Dark Knight films, this film had a lot going for it, and I was so excited to see this movie because I've always been a fan of Superman my entire life. And since this movie also has the hopes and dreams of the Justice League on its shoulders, there's a lot of things riding on this movie. This movie opens with a grand vision of Krypton. You see the much-known story of how Superman came to Earth and how that all started, but you've never seen it like this before. You actually get a look outside. You get a look at some of the creatures that live on Krypton. You get a look at Kryptonian technology, and I love the way this film opened. It was really intense. It was a lot of fun, really good action in there. And and I really loved Russell Crowe as Joe Rell. He did such a terrific job in this movie, and I honestly think he's one of the best parts of this movie, actually. When we do get to Earth, we see an adult Superman, and we learn more about him through flashbacks and backstory. We get to meet Jonathan Kent through these flashbacks, played by Kevin Costner. Terrific job in the film as well. One of his best performances he's done in years. He was so good as Pa Kent. He really, honestly, was great in this movie. And the movie did a fair job of giving you a good look at Superman's childhood, and you got a good sense of how that was, despite the fact that some of it was a little cliched with the bullies always saying, hey, fight back, Kent. What, you're not gonna fight? Like, it was just kind of like the cliched bully picks on the little kid thing. Soon enough, we do meet Lois Lane's character. We're introduced to certain people at the Daily Planet. We get to see Superman in his suit. And now General Zod has a warning for Superman. He's coming to Earth and stuff's about to go down between Superman and Zod, and it's pretty epic. So how is Man of Steel? Overall, I think it's a very good superhero film. I don't think it's quite as good as it could have been, though. I do think that it could have been slightly better, and I'll explain why. Nevertheless, Man of Steel seriously does rock at points. There's a lot of great sequences in this movie, and finally we were able to get a look at a Superman that can actually kick some serious Kryptonian ass. Fight scenes in this movie, fantastic. Thank goodness. We finally got that, because when's the last time we saw Superman actually fight somebody? Superman IV The Quest for Peace. Yeah. This film has a ton of action, and although you can tell that it's CGI, just because your eyes are trained that way, there is a little bit overuse of it. But there were some scenes where they actually transitioned extremely smoothly from a CGI Superman right into the real Henry Cavill, and they did a really good job with that. It was very seamless, and I was pretty impressed with it. Henry Cavill is good as Superman. I think that he's probably the best Superman we've had since Reeve. I really don't think anyone is ever going to be able to step into Christopher Reeve's shoes. He did such an iconic job in those movies, but Henry Cavill did do a good job in this film, and I'm excited to see where else he takes the character. How was Michael Shannon as Zod? I think he did fine. He did a good job. But to say that he did fine is a little disappointing because he's such a good actor. I think that he did a terrific job for the material he was given, but he didn't really have that driving home force that Heath Ledger as the Joker did or Tom Hiddleston as Loki did. It just wasn't at that level of menace, and that was something that was disappointing to me. However, there is something I did really like about his villain. You understood where he was coming from. He wasn't just a mindless guy who just wanted to hurt people. He actually had a plan, and you got it. And those are what some of the best villains are in a movie, is when you can understand where they're coming from, and you understand why they are the way they are. I like that about General Zod in this movie. And as I said, Michael Shannon did do a good job. I just don't think the material he was given was as strong as it should have been. Also, Hans Zimmer's score, fan, Fantastic. Following in the footsteps of John Williams, not a fun thing, I'm sure. The score was enthralling and it touched me at times. It gave me goosebumps. I really enjoyed it. Amy Adams as Lois Lane did a pretty good job in this movie. Lawrence Fishburne as Perry White also did a good job. I really don't feel like these actors were given the right material 
to be able to really shine in these roles. And there are a few lines that come off as very cheesy, specifically any of the military dialogue. Like they'd be looking at a big high-tech screen and go like, based off these readings, that means this is going to happen. Dun, dun, dun. Just a little cheesy at times, but I can forgive that. But okay, let me get to my main issue I had with this movie. And that is the fact that the film's structure isn't really as solid as I would like it to be. The film goes from huge scene to huge scene to big gigantic scene and it really doesn't feel like you get that time to cool down from it. And what I mean by that is some of the scenes they craft are so cool and really fun and exciting but the needed human element and the emotion behind the character of Superman I kind of felt was a little bit lacking. His character really wasn't given as much depth as I thought he was going to be. As I look back on the movie and I envision certain scenes, I always was like, wow, that was a really well done scene and everything, and everyone was doing a really good job in the scene. But it wasn't constructed as well as it could have been. It was a lot of really awesome scenes strung together really fast, and sometimes they didn't have the needed weight that I was hoping for, the needed character, the needed depth that I wanted. Nevertheless, Man of Steel is still a very fun summer action film. It's the best Superman film I'd say we've gotten since the first one from 1978. Henry Cavill is good as Superman, the score is good, it's great to see Superman finally throw down with someone. I'm gonna give Man of Steel a B plus. When you guys do see the movie, or if you have already, let me know what you think below. And always, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Also, I want to say special thanks to my fellow YouTube buddies who helped me with my skit in the beginning. John Flickinger of The Flick Pick, Eric Striffler of Pretty Much It, and Victor, the frickin' film critic. Links for all their channels are in the description below, and I hope you do check them out because they are all worth your time. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.